Are you ready to learn how to hit the backhand? Okay. First, we gotta go over the grip, just like we did on the forehand. So you'll hold your racket out with your left hand like this. So left hand on the throat, good. And then what you'll do is you'll slide your hand down the racket, like you're almost shaking hands with it. To hold the racket, you have different bevel on your racket butt. So here's bevel number one is the top. And then if you go to the right, bevel number two, you want your index knuckle and heel pad on bevel number two. That's a continental grip. Yeah. And then your left hand goes on top. Good, and you just wanna make sure that they're not overlapping, which there aren't. So that's very good. So you turn your shoulders and hips towards me, keeping the racket from going too far back. And then you're gonna finish all the way through to where your elbow, yep, goes all the way to the other side of the court. And when you go to do it, sometimes what will happen is you'll this is unnecessary, right? As long as you get it here, this is good. Okay. So if you have your elbow pointing that way and your other elbow is kind of pointing out, not down here, but out, then you're doing it really well. Good. That's perfect. Then you go to hit. It's important to lay your hands back. See how I just laid your left hand back? Yes. This is what you want. So then when you go to hit the ball, it's square. See, if, if this hand doesn't lay back, if it goes like this, you see where the ball's gonna go if it hits? Right. Right at me. You coil, your left hand is laid back, through and up. Follow through, all the way over your shoulder. Good job. Trust your swing, let it finish all the way through. Perfect. Doesn't that feel better? Yes. Good. Nice and easy, all the way through, good. Perfect. Turn your shoulders and hips, then you're gonna be here, step, hit, over the shoulder, have your left elbow face the net, and then your right elbow can be out here. You just don't want it down, you want it to be free, okay? Excellent. Good. I'm gonna have you step in and hit. And then that allows my body to kind of flow into the ball, all be connected. The other way, you're doing a good job, but I think this may be a little bit more natural. There you go, good job. Perfect. Good. Good. I like how you're finishing on that front foot. So I'm gonna show you the serves. Okay. Stand to the side, almost like you're shooting a bow and arrow. That's how your stance will be to start, okay? And then you'll have your racket up like this. And then I'll just have you toss the ball up out in front and then have you hit it. And the key, the only thing that we're trying to do is just get that ball over into the opposite box. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Do I do it myself or I just throw it? <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So when you go to toss it, okay. you're going to keep the ball and kind of, you don't want it resting on your palm like this. You don't want it in your fingertips. You want it resting kind of in the, the meat of your fingers, if that makes sense. Just like that is good. Okay. And then when you go to toss it, toss is probably not the best word. It's like you're just gonna lift the ball, lift it up, okay? Because you don't need it to go that high, so you're just gonna lift it up. Okay. That's probably the hardest part is the toss. <laughs> well, that feels safe, doesn't it? Like, you could probably get them in pretty soon. All right, good. So that's how everybody typically starts off. So if we went out to hit and you didn't know how to play tennis, you know, that's how you'd resort. You'd be here like this, trying to put the ball in the court. Cause this is very safe. Like I, I feel like I could get it in the box if I do it that way. But with your background, right? What I want to see is I want to see throwing. So here's what I'm going to have you do. I'm going to have you hold the continental grip, like on your backhand. You remember? Perfect, you got it, okay? Yeah. 
So you've got your continental grip. What I want you to do is you're going to have this racket here. You're going to let the racket drop down like this, and then you're going to swing your racket up and across the ball. So it's going to look like this. You're here, it drops down, up and across the ball. Okay, so this, this part, you don't need to do that. You can go up and across and it'll go over. Here we go, toss it up. Perfect. You start with your racket up because with your racket up, you'll have momentum on the drop. So it's, if you start here, then once it drops, everything is moving. So you can't really help but go somewhat quick. Okay, so you're here, it drops up and across. Good. Everybody starts off when they have a, the proper grip, the continental, everybody ser starts off serving way far to the left. It's totally normal. Good. In tennis, when you go to serve, you're actually throwing your racket up through the ball, right? So in tennis, when you go to serve, you're, you're actually throwing like that. So when you go to serve this ball and you toss it with your left hand, keep your left hand up. Just like in softball, if you're gonna throw a pop fly, you would have your left hand up. Good serve. You got it in! <laughs> Do it again. Racket heads up. So see how your elbow wants to come down? Yeah. Just keep it up there and then drop and go. Good power. Nice and smooth. Good. In the beginning, just trying to get control. Excellent. You did it. Good job. I promise I'll get it. Yeah, you're going to get it. There you go. So that one you kind of try to force, right? Yeah. So keep that continental grip. Here we go. You can do it. Nice and easy. Good. Just let it happen like you're throwing. Good job. Did it. <laughs> All right. Good job. You did fantastic. Good work.